Today we are going to continue our series on the growing world of personal genomics. As more states begin to mandate whole genome sequencing, companies are springing up and taking advantage of this tremendous amount of information that just a few short years ago seemed tremendously out of reach. From member station KQED, our reporter Marty Namer has the story. The Perfect 46 has been around for nearly a year. It's a service that will tell you unflinchingly if you and your partner are a perfect match. We used the service and couldn't be happier. What compelled you to try it? We waited almost five years to have a child. Spending a small amount of money to find out what that child might be like, it gave us peace of mind. What did the service tell you? When you get your results, you're given a number from 1 to 100. In our case, our number was 94. The number that's being referred to is a compatibility number. You and your partner receive a combined score, a higher score signifying better compatibility, letting you know your percentage risk for certain disorders and your carrier status for specific genetic mutations. While there have been some rumors that the company is developing more of a dating service where one can be matched to a perfect partner, the CEO of Perfect 46, Jesse Darden, had this to say about the company's future. I'll just have to say, stay tuned. When California mandated whole genome sequencing for its citizens, it caused an uproar. Though the state had said it hoped the effort would begin to curtail its escalating health care costs, some saw it as a very personal invasion. Trevor Hickam of Pasadena, California, tried for eight months to avoid the genome sequencing mandate. This isn't any information that I think that the government needs to have about me on file. Your genome is accessible only by you, and you must give explicit permission to the companies, including your doctors, that wish to use it. That's Robert Wolf. He works for California's Department of Genomic Medicine. A company like the Perfect 46 couldn't exist without consumers wanting a service exactly like it. In fact, we've seen other startups fail specifically because of the consumer's attitude. Genome was a company that went under only a few weeks after accepting applications. Genome. The service he's referring to would have given you your predicted lifespan based on a controversial algorithm developed in Seattle. Overall, the Perfect 46 says that its customer satisfaction tops at 95 percent, and that no one thus far has taken any drastic action upon receiving the results. But that's not to say that everyone's been pleased with the service. Veronica Luddy had this to say. My partner and I were told we were 15 percent compatible. Anything under 20% is what the Perfect 46 deems non-compatible. Were you planning on having children? We were. But this service doesn't prevent you from conceiving, right? No, but after looking at that information, how could we? Veronica wasn't the only person to come to this conclusion. The Perfect 46 says that only a small percentage of people who use its service will be told that they're less than 20% compatible. Where does this leave those people? People separate, people break up, this happens. This is just a new reason. Earlier this year, Mr. Darden was called to testify before Congress. We've set out to make the best, most affordable opportunity for everyone to have the healthiest children possible. And while this does result in a small percentage of our users being told they are not ideal matches, use of the service is voluntary. The algorithm we use is proprietary and must remain a secret for competitive reasons. The investigation is ongoing. For now, though, the Perfect 46 is expanding, and it's not looking back. Join us again next Thursday as we take a look at Haddon, a company that's causing a stir in the pharmacogenomics world. I'm Bruno Lewis in New York.